Good afternoon, Dartmouth Home Depot. How can I direct your call? Uh, yes, I want to make a house. I just want to know how much the stuff costs. To build a house? Yeah. Do you have the list of the different materials you will need? Just walls, um, you know, a roof. Okay, well, let me put you down to a lumber associate and okay. see what they can do for you. Thanks. Thanks for calling Home Depot Lumber Department. How can I help you? Yes, I'm, I want to make a house. I just want to know how much the stuff costs. Make a house? Yeah, this is Home Depot, right? You guys have stuff to make homes? Yeah. Do you have plans? Yeah. Um, I mean, I want to do like four bedrooms, maybe two baths. Uh, you'd have to call like a builder, like a contractor. No, I'm going to build it. Yeah, you'd still have to call someone like that to get the, uh, you know, the materials list and the value and pricing and stuff like that. Okay, but I'm building it, so I just want the stuff. Like, I'll come in uh, with a cart and just pick up the stuff. And we don't know how to do that. We can't do that for you, sir. We can't help you. Well, how much does, like, a wall cost? You'd have to call, you'd have to call an architect to take care of that, someone okay. to design the house for you. Oh, no, I'm, I designed it already. I already drew it out. We, we can't take, we can't help you here, sir. You've called the wrong place. I'm not sure who you'll have to call. Okay, I'll, I'll try another Home Depot, I guess. Uh, home, yeah, go. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Home Depot, how can I help you? Yes, I want to make a house. I just want to know how much the stuff costs. For a... For a house? For a house? Yeah. An entire house. Yeah, you guys have stuff for houses. Oh, yeah. What's it cost? Just one second. Yeah. I'll have to transfer you over to that department. Thanks. Contractor desk. Hi, yes. I want to make a house. I just want to know how much the stuff costs. Do you have a material list or anything? You know, obviously the basic stuff, four walls and a roof, but I also want to do four bedrooms and I'd like to order like two bathrooms. I'm going to need a material list or something. I need some kind of a drawing or something to go by. I drew a picture of it. It's got some windows, it's got a chimney, uh, front door, pathway. Uh, if you can if you can give me the drawing with the size of the windows, size of the doors, the pitch of the roof. Um, yeah, see, I'm not trying to get all, I'm not trying to worry about the details because um, I'm just trying to develop it as I'm making it. Um, it's a ballpark, but it doesn't include like foundation or plumbing, electrical. What do you mean foundation? What are you using for a floor or a basement? Well, I'll probably put down some carpeting at least. Is or the if building the... inspector going to see it? Oh no, I'm not worrying about that stuff. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna build it. Okay. So you must have some kind of dimensions or something. I mean, I want to make it kind of big. So let's just go. Let's say the whole house is about. 1,000 by 1,000. So it's 1,000 feet one way, 1,000 feet the other? Yeah, I think that sounds good. It's a big house. It's a dream house, basically, I'm trying to make for my wife. Um, I don't think I get a price on glass, but I get a set of blueprints. What are blueprints? Working drawing, something the carpenter or somebody's going to need mm -hmm. when they frame it up. I drew a picture of it, though. Um, are you building it yourself? Yeah. It's my first time building the house, so I'm just, I'm just kind of going to learn as I go. I think in order for me to price it properly, you should have a set of working drawings from somebody. Because I can tell you right now, if you try building something that big, you're going to need a building permit because somebody's going to see it going up. Uh, how about, let's just, maybe let's just say 500 by 500. And I'll put it in a bunch of trees so no one can see it. And what's your name? Uh, Tim. Tim. And what's the last name? Allen. So Tim Allen. Yeah. When can I, uh, when do you think I'll be able to pick up the stuff? Because I want to start like tomorrow because I want to make this house in time for Christmas. Um, you know, if I can just get like the four outer walls and the roof to get started, that'll probably... Uh, your, your, your roof is going to be an engineered truss. That's the other issue we're going to run into with a drawing. I have the roof on the drawing. I already drew the roof. Yeah. Okay. Is, are you uh, certified in AutoCAD or an engineer? Because if you're not, I can't give that drawing to the roof truck oh, I'm, company. I'm start, no, I mean, I'm starting my own construction business. You know, it's called Petty Planks Planning. Okay.
Okay. And and this is my first house. So I'm this is like a new service I'm starting. I'm starting with this house and I'm going to like take notes on how I make it and then I'm gonna be doing this for other people. So, you know, I am a professional. I just started this business. Okay. Because without an engineer drawing, you're gonna to have to make your own trusses. Right. Yeah, but I did engineer this drawing. Okay, so you're an engineer, then you get a stamp on the drawing, then because um, that's what they're going to look for. What kind of? I mean, I could st I could put a stamp on the drawing if that's what you need. I'll need that for the trust manufacturer. Okay, what does a stamp have to look like? It has to be one from an engineer company saying that you're. So yeah, I still, but I am an engineer because I, I of my own company, Petty Petty Planks Planning. Mm -hmm. So I am the engineer. Okay, so you're a trained engineer. I'm training myself with building this house. Okay, because without any um, training as such, you don't have a stamp. Like I can, no, I mean, I can, make my, I can make my own stamps. I can just go to Staples and get one of those little stamping devices. Well, as long as it's got something that the trust companies don't accept. Okay, well, let's not worry about the stamp. You know, I just want to come by and pick up the walls and the roof. Because I need to get this done in time for Christmas, I, I need, it's kind of important I get started on it right away. Mm-hmm. And what's the price? I'm just going to switch phones here for one second. Okay, so we're 500 feet down one side, 8 feet high, 4,000 square feet per side, 500 sheets, that's 875 a sheet, $16,163.96. Okay, that's pretty cheap. Hey, also, do you guys um do you guys sell those uh those Mexicans that are standing outside of Home Depot? I don't have any of them here. Oh. I might need some help. Would you do you, would you be willing to help me out if I paid you like, you know, fifty bucks a day or something? I don't think they would allow me to do that. Well, I mean you could do it at nighttime or something. Um you might as well add some floodlights on there. Do you want floodlights and stuff added as well? Yeah, so that you can work at night because you work during the day, you work during the day at Home Depot. I won't be working at night. I got a house I'm building my own. Building your own house like me, huh? Hey, well, once I start my construction business, uh, Petty Planks Planning, you could probably come work for me or something since you're since you probably know how to build a house. I won't be able to. I could pay you more than fifty bucks a day. I was just negotiating with you. Sorry. Hundred bucks a day. No. 150. Uh, no. Um, 200. No. 225. No. How about some benefits? Like I'll buy you lunch. 225 plus lunch. No. All right, I'll find someone else. I know I can get someone for 225 plus lunch. All right, I'll come by and pick it up. Alrighty. Thanks.